I've read a lot of books, books about finance, books about real estate, motivation, mindset. There is a ton of them out there. And some of them have absolutely transformed my perspective about things. And a lot of them have shaped me or been a part of who I am today. You've heard of a lot of the big ones before, but there's others that you probably have never heard of. And then ones that you definitely need to read. These books changed my life and can change yours too. Number 10, The Wealthy Barber by David Shilton. I actually read this book in high school, there's been several different versions of it, but it's about a barber who becomes a multimillionaire simply by investing in himself and paying himself first. So this book, the main premise of this book is learning how to pay yourself first, saving 15, 20, 30% of your money every month into another mutual fund, stock, or bond that actually teaches you how to save your money. And this book was eye-opening for me, and it's by David Shilton, and it's still one of the best books that I have ever read. That's number 10. Number nine, The Richest Man in Babylon by George Klassen. Okay, this is a classic book, and it teaches you about old school principles and philosophies, about how you should not just plan on bringing buckets of water to the top of the hill, but you should build an infrastructure of pipes to get your water so that you've got a fluid amount of money coming at you all the time. That's really the metaphor of this book, and it's a great book. It uses kind of Bibleistic theology to paint the picture so that you could understand it. It's one of the earliest books I read and still one of my favorite books. Number eight, and one of my favorite books, I just read this book just a couple years ago. It's The Gambler by William C. Rempel. And this book is absolutely amazing. It's about the story of one of my biggest mentors that doesn't even know me and has passed away. His name is Kirk Kerkorian. It's about the guy who built Las Vegas. Basically, he was a dropout of high school. He was a pilot in World War II. He turned the World War II pilot into being a pilot teacher. He turned the pilot teacher into an aerospace business. He turned the aerospace business into a casino. Casino. He turned the casino into a dynasty and on and on it goes and tells you all about his journeys, his stories, his trials, his tribulations. And it's one of my favorite books. I have listened to that book a hundred times, The Gambler. Number seven and a book that really has everything figured out, right? This is the best book I have read on habits, and it's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. One of the best books out there about changing the habits that you have today, like everybody's got habits, and you replace your habits with new habits, and it talks about the ability to build habits and develop habits. And it's one of my favorite books of all times. It's very tough to change all these existing habits, and this book will help you do it. Number six, and this is a motivational book. It's called Can't Hurt Me, and it's by David Goggins. Can't Hurt Me is actually his first book. He just came out with book number two, but this is his first book, and it's his story of his life, how he went from a poor kid going up in Indianapolis to a badass savage who's whole sole mission is to prove that you can't hurt me and that I am going to be the leader out there to prove everybody what they're capable of. And this book teaches mindset, motivation, and what the human body and mind can endure about being a little bitch. That's why he says, don't be a little bitch. And David Goggins, if you guys know who he is, he's a massive, massive character. Somebody who I'd love to have on the podcast and someone whose book I really thoroughly enjoyed. Number five, 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Okay, and let me just be clear here. I didn't want to include all of his books, but every single book that this guy has written has been gold. Robert Greene is an author who studied human beings from his jobs, his various hotels, and he realized that we're no different than our ancestors. We're no different than six or seven generations ago. We're no different than eight generations ago. And he tells you how the laws of power work and how you can make them work for you. This book is one of the books that they pass around in prisons. It teaches inmates how to control things, how to do things. It also teaches you as a business person how to use the levers of power to get what you want, okay? I heard about this book about 20 years ago and I just read it several years ago. So it's been around for a long, long time. He's also got the laws of human nature, 33 laws of war, and a bunch of other great books by Robert Greene. He's a fantastic writer. Number four, The Power Negotiator by Roger Dawson. Roger Dawson is a British immigrant to the United States, former real estate agent and realtor developer, and he basically wrote the book on negotiation. There are so many gambits 
is what he calls them, basically chess moves that you can do when people say a certain thing to you to get their price down. And I'll give you an example right now. Like if you tell me the price of this microphone is $2,000 and I go, oh my gosh. That's called a flinch. It's a verbal flinch. It's me saying, oh my gosh, this is too much. That's one of his techniques. And he's got several techniques that you can use to get the best deal. And those of you guys who are in business or not in business, one of the biggest ways that you can save money in business is negotiation. It's the fastest, the easiest, the strongest way to save money. So if you're going to be in business or if you're going to be successful in business, you need to read The Power Negotiator by Roger Dawson or any of Roger Dawson's negotiation books. Number three, The Ultimate Jim Rohn Library. If you guys have heard of Tony Robbins, you've heard of all these magical speakers. Well, who did they learn from, right? Well, they really learned from two people. One, Jim Rohn, the other one, Earl Nightingale. Both of these guys are dynamic, motivational speakers who talk about being the best version of yourself. So if you want to truly get inspired, read The Ultimate Jim Rohn Library. He's got tons of books. This is the guy who taught Tony Robbins to be Tony Robbins. So if you want to learn who's the real deal, it's Jim Rohn. I highly, highly, highly recommend you read this book. Number two, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. This is the book that I read in 2004, has changed so many different lives out here, so many magical stories, and he talks about his rich dad and his poor dad, and how his rich dad thought, and how his poor dad thought. And his poor dad wasn't poor, he made a good income, worked a W-2 job, highly educated, well-respected in his community, actually ran for state office, and did a bunch of other things, but then he had this rich dad who did things unconventional, started multiple businesses, and he learned more from his rich dad than he did his poor dad. He learned what not to do from his poor dad, and he learned what to do from his rich dad. The number one book that you need to read in business, in life, in anything is Think and Grow Rich, written by Napoleon Hill in 1937. This book has st stood the test of time. It is one of the best books and one of the most sold books ever written, been translated in more languages than we could even talk about. It is the best book. It is a mindset book. It is a can-do it book. It's better than Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's better than any of the other books, and that's why it's number one. If you're gonna pick all of these books, say I don't got time to read any books this year, read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. There's so many stories. Stopping three feet from gold, how most people quit right when they're about ready to tap gold. It's such a fantastic book. I can't say enough good things about it. I've listened to it, I've read it. I've even named my first dog Napoleon after the author. That's how much of an impact this book has had on my life. Now, my number one for you, you definitely gotta read this book. It's The Millionaire Mentorship. I'll show you a copy, I think I got one right here. The number one book that I recommend you read is my book. You can find it on Amazon. We'll include a link in the description below. And whoever writes the best comment on this book, I will send you an autographed copy of my book. Millionaire Mentorship. This is my version of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. My personal journey, in my humble opinion, this is the best book out there for learning how to get started in real estate investing. And if you don't have a copy, it's super cheap. We'll send you a free version if you go to my socials or you can go buy one on Amazon. But this is like a really great book. There's gonna be a follow-up copy sometime in the future. Pretty easy to understand, super easy to implement, and I hope that you enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this video with a friend, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.